Do we look good? Yeah. It's <laughs> all good. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Mimpi Jamie channel. Today, we have two friends over here. Josephine and also Daniel. So both of them are studying hospitality here in Australia and also working in a hotel as a banquet attendant, I heard. First of all, what is hospitality? Hospitality depends on your view because like there's two. There's hotel management and F&B. So like it depends on which one you choose. Like hotel management is like managing the hotel, like doing service in hotels and stuff. While F&B is more like cooking, patisserie. Stuff like that. Why do you choose hospitality? When I was like a little child, I would talk a lot and communicate with a lot of people. So I think like my parents and me see my potential to like you good at communicate. You want to communicate with people. So and I also like doing travel, like doing some cookery, cooking too. So mm. yeah, I see. Hmm, maybe I'm suitable yeah, with hospitality. Yeah, and now because you like talking, we have you in our YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Eh? <laughs> How about you? Why hospitality? My answer is short. My parents pick it for me. Oh, oh my god. Okay. And then like you study in two different institutions, and yep. I think it's quite popular here in Sydney for like learning hospitality, right? Yep. So like, why that institution, and like, what's the best thing so far studying there? The teacher is very like care about you, like. I remember like when I let submission my assessment, he said well like I was six, right? So my teacher emailed me like when you let submission like your assignment one day and say I was six and I saw the result like I have like a paper from a doctor and say oh okay so you can like okay just take your time, feel well mm -hmm. and like you can submit your assignment like till till your weekend. Oh, okay. okay. Like, so I was like, oh, okay, is that good? Is that good deal? Okay. <laughs> good deal. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm, okay, so you feel like they really care about you and like, I care about, care about you. your well-being first. Yeah, like mm. about mental okay. health and uh, physical health. And it's very good, like the quality they are studying is very good, like they have theory and they apply the theory when we're doing the cookery and about the service. Mm. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, back to you, Josephine. So, why I pick William English? It's the same answer as before. My parents pick it for me. <laughs> I think for the whole interview, or maybe we should interview your parents instead. <laughs> what should, we should, you guys should interview me. <laughs> it's true. My parents pick it for me. Okay, fair enough. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, it's like congrats to Josephine. She just finished your diploma like last week. Yeah. And like she'll be continuing her bachelor yeah. in hospitality. Yeah. So like, how long is your degrees to get the bachelor in hospital? Uh, so my recruit degrees to get bachelor in hospitality in my school is like about three years. Just two years? Three. Oh, three years. Three years. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. How about you? My one three years, but the so two year study theory and the last year is professional practice. Professional it's practice. Like magam. Yeah. What you mm. plan to do in professional practice? Work. Magam. Magam. Internship. 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 Oh. Yeah, that's good. So it's like balance and like when you graduate, you have enough experience to yeah. jump straight to work. How big is one class? Quite small. Quite small. But like they, they have various classes. Some is quite big, but like some of them is also quite small. To me, it's like, it's also like, it's enough. You know, it's just enough for like 20 people. Both of you are international students, right? Yeah. Are there yeah. like a lot of international students in your institutions and like so a lot of students from your home country maybe? So when I see it, I, most of them, like most of the international in my student in my school is they come from Korean. Korea, okay. A lot. Yeah, so like I think it's some of them, like a, a little bit Vietnamese in there. Like I think all the Vietnamese it go to Blue Mountain. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I heard about Blue Mountain. Yeah, Blue Mountain is mm. it's also good. Like yeah, so it's all Korean. Like when every time I go to the campus, right? I heard Korean. Korean. I like wow. Are there any K-pop stars? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. How about in your institute? A lot of My Indonesians. Like there's Indonesian, but not that much. Mostly is Korean or Chinese or Thailand. What are the challenges of studying hospitality? Right now, at the moment, like I don't see have any challenge at mm. hospitality. Like I'm doing assignment, so it's pass just a okay. class, just yeah, pass a class, 
do some revision, do exam, and do internship. That it exists. Oh, good. Like my campus is like big enough to me to go around, have some food, go to canteen. It's all good. Like I at the moment I don't see any challenge. Mm, Maybe okay. it's uh, first year. It's chill with me. Mm. Only uh, something is hard in second year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enjoy your first year. You any other challenges or no? Have. Many. Many, okay. We can go through the list. <laughs> too much homework. Too much homework. <laughs> the deadline is too little and like even my teacher say like your class, your year, the year that one is like the classes is very packed. Mm. Like very many study and it's very messy, like the schedule every week it change. Every oh, week change, change over. Like every almost week, like every week like the day that came to we came to school. Changes. How's like the application for hospitality school? Is it just sending your high school scores? Before this, I go to exam to go in university in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So I have to send my score, that score, to my school to check, and my three years in high school the result. Like I think like I have in three year result. Like in high school, I have to try very best. Like try a lot. And yeah, I have like quite high, so they up, I apply in and they accept. Mm. Mm, so okay. good. Do they ask for like um, English score? Like oh yeah, yeah, they have oh, yeah. asked for IELTS. Like so, my IELTS seven point oh, so like it's more than they. Yeah, that's quite good. They require so yeah, they require only like six point oh, so it, yeah, it's more than required. So I can apply in. Yeah. Mm. Okay. For me, uh, you just need high school. But like depends because I took diploma first, so they just require high school. But if you take bachelor, like you need to graduate grade twelve. If me, I just mm. graduate like finish grade eleven, then I went here, and they also require arts five point five if I'm not wrong. Mm, okay, so like around five point five six, you know, it's doable. Is there like any scholarships that you know of from your institutions or no? There is, but I don't apply for it. Ooh. Mm. What is it based off? Is it like based on? The no, high school scores? No, like there is scholarship, but like the scholarship is you have to enter the school first. Oh, okay. And like the scholarship is like you have to make a. How do you say? Essay? That's essay. Statement. Essay, then like they will read it. And if they like it, like you can get the scholarship. Did oh, you try? It? I never tried to have a scholarship before. Like maybe in Ignatia, we will try to apply uh, some scholarship. Oh, so it's also the same. Like you need to get it first, then apply. For this yeah. What about you? For me, you have I applied. scholarship. Yeah. <laughs> you have scholarship. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I applied like since high school. I applied and like I got it. Yeah, I made a video on that actually. No, not that. No, not that. Maaf. That good. That good. That good. Probably like how much does it cost for international students to learn hospitality in Australia or like in your? Okay, experience? so maybe a month, a year so is about fifty uh, k. Like yeah. oh trimester, you have to fifty yeah. k. How do they know if like they like hospitality before they um, enroll in their course? In their mind, they can decide. They can know like they like it. Like maybe they love to cook. Yes, that will be decide them to do hospitality. Or maybe like they go to traveling mm. and like speak to like interact with other culture and speak to a lot of people. Yes, that will be also like to decide them to do like hospitality. Like me, like like if I work at my hotel and my hotel is international, so I can work like go all around the world and yeah. work at that hotel. It's very good to me. Is that your dream to yeah, work globally? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. If you wanna find out what's working in hospitality like in here Sydney, Australia, watch the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. Bye. Bye.